Hello everyone. Myself Mrs. Prachi Kare from Department of Mechanical Engineering, Vidya Pratishthan's Kamal Nain Bajaj Institute of Engineering and Technology, Baramati. Today we are going to see experiments using virtual lab, which is developed by IIT Bombay for the subject Mechanics of Machines. Title is Position, Velocity, and Acceleration Analysis of Slider Crank Mechanism. Now, in this pandemic situation of the Corona. and in the lockdown it is required to do the experimentation by following the social distancing so virtual lab is the better option for this so now we are going to see how to see the experiments using virtual lab so in our google in the address bar here type v labs iit b so open virtual lab iit bombay So now you will get the home page of virtual lab set by IIT Bombay. So here are various icons like intro, lab, V labs, develop, outreach, workshop, etc. So this is the under labs you will get the labs which are already developed by IIT Bombay. And here V labs dev you can see the labs which are under development. So right now we will see what are the labs which are already developed by IIT Bombay. So click on here labs. So here you can see various disciplines and domains. So now we have to go for mechanical engineering. So click on mechanical engineering. So in mechanical engineering you can see the different subjects for which IIT Bombay has developed the labs. so today we are going to see for mechanics of machine lab so click on mechanics of machine so here is the window for mechanics of machine lab so here you can see introduction experiment then the other prerequisite and feedback so in introduction you can see the introduction of the subject for the mechanics of machine you can read this introduction related to what is mechanics what is statics what is dynamic kinematics kinetics then what are the mechanism so this is all the introduction related to the subject so you can read this and you can have the complete introduction regarding what is the mechanics of machine subjects what are the different types of mechanism used over here so this is all related to the theory part so we will not go in detail of this theory part you can read this theory now we have to see for experiments so if you click on experiment here you can see list of experiments so here are number of experiments available over here you can select any of the experiment which you have to perform so just you have to click on that so here we have to see the position analysis of slider crank mechanism so here is the position analysis of slider crank mechanism so here position velocity and acceleration analysis these are the three different experiments mentioned over here so one by one you can click and one by one you can perform the analysis so let us see for position analysis of slider crank mechanism so click on this so now this is the window for position analysis of slider crank mechanism so here also again in theory you can read the theory regarding what is the slider crank mechanism what are the its application and what do you mean by the position analysis and all so you can read this theory you can go through it now here is the procedure so see uh, how we perform the experiment and how we write the journal uh, in lab in the same way here are the modules given like we use the aim we used to write aim we used to write procedure then we go for Uh, experimentation so instead of experimentation here is the word simulation because it is using the software and then you also have assignments and quiz so one by one you can see for this you can click on procedure so once you click on procedure here is the procedure written so you can see the simulation of slider crank mechanism without any offset that is axis of sliding element passes through the crank center so this is the slider crank mechanism without offset so how to perform the simulation so it is written over here change the parameters under variable section and observe the motion of the slider crank mechanism so this is the procedure to carry out the experiment so directly you can go for simulation in the evaluation it will give you some 
sample questions see if you click on evaluation click on get started it will ask you the question so this is just to check the basic of your cytokine mechanism so you can uh, select the answer and you can check the answer so you can carry out this so we will go for directly the simulation part so directly go for simulation part you can do this evaluation on your own so here for non flash users so if it is not installed in your laptop or mobile if you are doing this specially on mobile so do click on non flash users so if you click over here now here you can see the simulation of slider crank mechanism so here you can see how slider crank mechanism is working so this is a crank of length r this is the connecting rod of length l and this is the slider and this is the d that is the distance of slider from fixed position now here are the variables so you can change the variables over here say suppose i am taking length of the crank 60 so you can see the dimension has been changed and if i take length of the connecting rod say 180 so it has been changed now so at whatever the required value of input you can put over here and you can see the simulation now if you stop the simulation here you can check the position analysis that is your position analysis means you have to find out or you have to measure what is the distance of slider from fixed point so this is the crank angle at 158 degree here right now this is the instantaneous position of slider crank mechanism and the position of the slider is at 183.31 cm so likewise you can check the position at any angle theta so suppose if you pause it over here so now for crank angle of 78 degrees and crank length of 60 and the connecting rod length of 240 cm you can get the position of the slider at 245.19 cm 245.19 cm okay so in this way you can have the analysis at you can have the analysis at various crank position length of crank and angle theta so you can check it once just click on over here you can see the analysis so at what angle you want to find out you can pause it so it will give you at crank angle of this or if you want it to set the crank angle just put it over here it will give you the angle so if you want at theta equal to 45 so this is at theta equal to 45 the position of the slider is 278.65 if you want theta equal to 60 so put theta equal to 60 over here so here you can vary the length of crank length of connecting rod and the theta value and you can see the simulation so this is for the simulation for position analysis now here is the assignment so likewise you can solve the question of the assignment also you can have quiz so if you say get started you will get a quiz so you can go for the quiz as well okay so it is asked what is the maximum distance traveled by slider for a slider crank mechanism with crank length of 10 cm so you can put this 10 cm length as a variable in a simulation and you can get the answer so likewise you can go for assignment or quiz here are the videos so you can see the videos uploaded by nptel regarding kinematics of machines for this particular topic so if you click on here you will get the videos which are uploaded by the nptel so these are the various videos on kinematics of machines regarding slider crank mechanism position analysis so you can watch these videos as well okay and these are the references so these are the references from which these data is taken so see this is the book of ss ratan which we use for our theory of machine subject usually and these also the books which are there uh, in our library or we are using these books so this data is taken from this references so likewise you can perform the experiment for position analysis of slider crank mechanism in the same way right go back click on experiment now you can click on say velocity analysis of slider crank mechanism 
so again here you can see the theory related to the velocity analysis okay you can see the procedure so here they have mentioned that edit the parameters in a variable section to change in the position diagram and then it will give you the velocity and diagram so like you, if you go for simulation again click on simulation click on for non flash users now see here you can see the velocity polygon how it is changing so if you put a pause so at this position this is the velocity polygon so here also you can if you want crank length of say 60 okay this you want for say 180 if you want it for 180 cm suppose you can change and theta equal to 80 degree okay so this is for the theta equal to 80 degree so if you pause it so now see velocity this is the crank and this is the velocity vector of the crank the same color you can observe red color for crank red color for the velocity vector so velocity of the crank is perpendicular to the crank so you can see this vector is perpendicular to the crank so this is the fixed point o from which it is started as it is rotating in a anti clockwise sense so this is perpendicular to the crank over here so here you can get the velocity what is the linear velocity and what is the angular velocity now this is the velocity vector for connecting rod this green color perpendicular to connecting rod and this black is the velocity for slider so as you can put here different values and you can take the see suppose i will take say theta equal to 45 so now it has been changed and accordingly the velocities with respect to the fixed point velocity of the crank velocity of connecting rod angular velocity everything it will give you over here so for any value required as we doing graphical method we used to plot for any instantaneous value of theta so likewise we can plot it over here for any instantaneous value of the theta you can get for the velocity polygon so you can change say i will take it at 80 degree again it has been changed so for any respective r and l value and theta value you can see the simulation and you can get the see here you can note down over here as the theta changing the velocity diagram changing and its values of velocity so these are the instantaneous values of the velocity which are changing with respect to the change in the theta position so likewise you can see the simulation for slider crank mechanism then rest of the assignment or you can say quiz that are same here also you can see the videos related to the velocity analysis so same way you can carry out for now if you want to go back again go to mechanics of machine lab then click on experiments then you click on say now we have to see acceleration analysis of slider crank mechanism we go on acceleration analysis of slider crank mechanism again you can see the theory for acceleration analysis then you can check for the procedure of acceleration analysis the same that you have to edit the parameters in variable section then go for simulation okay so in the simulation click for non flash user if you are using on mobile or if flash user is not installed now here you can see both see here this is the configuration diagram this is the velocity diagram and this is the acceleration diagram so again say i will give here 50 cm so it is now in mm 50 mm this is say 160 mm okay so if you change this values so it is not taking 150 mm because of the requirement of the lens of the link as per the grashof's law okay so it is by default uh, it requires this value this is a minimum value so i'll take it as 250 suppose or 300 okay now you can stop at any position so this is the velocity polygon and this is the acceleration polygon so here they have taken scale as 1 is to 1 the same is the procedure how we draw the velocity and acceleration polygon graphically 
but that only you can do for some one instantaneous angle here you can get it for any angle which is required if you want it for 45 degree of crank so this is for crank position of 45 degree this is the velocity polygon and this is the acceleration polygon so here again you can see it is mention the centripetal acceleration also here you can see dotted is the centripetal acceleration this is the tangential acceleration this blue is the total acceleration so as we know uh, any link will have three acceleration centripetal acceleration tangential acceleration and total acceleration so here it is mentioned red color is the acceleration for crank this is the acceleration of connecting rod blue and this black is the acceleration of the slider and here the values are also given okay angular acceleration values given linear velocity given angular velocity given so whatever the data related to this or whatever the things related to the velocity and acceleration it will give you the every value related to this configuration so this is at theta equal to 46 degree so at theta equal to 46 degree and for this respective length of crank and connecting rod you can get the value of velocity and acceleration for all the leads so this is very much important and very much informative so you can go through this and you can see you can check how the velocity and acceleration polygon changes okay again you can see the videos over here also you can see the references used also and in this way you can find out or you can see the simulation for velocity acceleration and position analysis of slider crank mechanism so uh, in this situation of the lockdown uh, this is the very good way of learning the virtual lab for the various subjects for the various experiments you can see over here in home you can see for this is for mechanics of machine labs but here you can see for any discipline you can check it and for mechanical engineering these are the various subjects you can go for the experimentation so whatever is your instant interest fluid mechanics lab according to your syllabus metal forming lab machine dynamics lab okay material responses mechanical thermal and biological simulations so you can go for any of the lab stated over here so uh, it is a request to all of you please go through this virtual labs and see learn how to see how to demonstrate how to experiment using the virtual lab thank you